What's up, everybody, in Talking Beards World? This is uh, probably going to be the most exciting episode we've ever had ever this week. So, this, I, yes, Brenda even says hi, everyone. Can you believe that? She's already everyone. made the show the most exciting show of this she, week. She already knows. Chris so, Wilson. Yeah. Well, all kinds of people already. Wow. Even Josh Barefoot Brains is here. Scott's triumphant return, according to Andrew Madsen. I, I <laughs> it mean, is your triumphant return. You were gone last week. I know. So, yeah, let's get this started. This is going to be episode number 124 of the live show. This is going to be, drum roll please, episode number 199 of the podcast. 199. Cool. That's like almost double century or something. Can you believe it? I can. I've Good gosh. There. This is it's wild. You're you're pretty much the most uh, famous podcast person ever once you hit 200, Scott. And you've know, done well, it. I know I've done it. I'm like the Joe Rogan of beard podcasting. Basically, that's what they say. Uh, I was watching a, a, some sort of talk show, not a talk show, a game show the other day. And they're like, what's the number one podcast about beards? And they said the beard caster. But I'm, I was just saying. I mean, they may have said something about Joe Rogan, but I, I took it as they were really talking about you. They but were. They were. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, let's get this started. I am Aaron D., uh, the Smoothie King Johnston. That's my – I'm doing it. I'm taking it. It's going to be my new claim to fame. I, nope. I made smoothies, like, for, like, four days in a row now, so I'm, I'm pretty much a master of my new craft. So, uh, yeah, I'm here. What's going on, Scott? Well, not much. I'm Scott Sikora. Uh, You can find us over at TalkingBeards.com. Uh, there you can go subscribe to the podcast. You can go check out some other cool stuff on there. We have some videos. We have uh, merch for sale. So if you feel like it, you can uh, do all of that. But uh, yeah, so who? what's, what's going on the show tonight? What is going on the show tonight? Ooh. Tonight we have Mark Burns. Or dang it, I didn't write it down. Uh, Lampshade? Mark Lampshade Burns. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, he's going to talk to us about the uh, competition he has coming up, the Sasquatch Uncut 2021. Uh, it should be a pretty amazing competition. It looks like a really good, well-put-together machine here, and we're going to dive into it and see what all he has to say about it. So, yeah, that we've got that. Uh other little segments, we're going to do some comp news. We're going to see how Natalie D. Johnston is doing. And uh, we got some beard mail. So, yeah, that's about it. Can you believe this? Guess who's here with us right now? Who is it? <gasps> Angela. Hi, guys. Do it, Natalie. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Uh, that was my translation from her on the couch to over here. Whoa. What? That, look at, did you read that? Did you get your floors done, Scott Sakura? Yeah, I was telling everybody you were too busy uh, painting your floors to be on the show last week. I think that's what I said. Yeah, so, yeah, well, I guess we could talk about that real quick. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I I got my floors all sanded down and everything. And uh, so last week I decided I was going to stain my floor. Did it all, rolled it all out, everything. Beautiful, beautiful, but it was a really humid day and it was really humid and it still has not dried. And it went was on. Was it humid? Day. It was humid. Everybody knows you don't paint your floors on humid days. I know. So, but that's so basically what's happened is my floor is still sticky and tacky. So <laughs> it is not dry. Um, it is, uh, I tried to sand some areas. And uh, let's just say we're not looking too hot right now. I mean, it looks. Well, I mean, you look hot, but your floor doesn't. I know I do. I, <laughs> I'm the best looking guy on this show. Mm, that's debatable. Maybe until from Mark, Ohio. Until Mark gets here. Well, yeah, obviously. And then the last thing I have to share with everyone is I, as I poured my tea, we have to give everyone the, uh, what the words of wisdom for tonight are. Oh, let's let's hear your words of wisdom, Scott Sikora, let because we can't read that. Let your energy be used to build, not to destroy. That's did you write that? No, but what now at, talking about this, what would you build with your energy? 
Uh, I don't know. Really? Come on, man. Uh, what would I build with my energy? Like, are we talking about physical things? Is that yeah. what we're supposed to do? Well, like something positive, man. Let's talk positivity right oh, now. Oh, okay. I would build another garage in my yard. That's pretty positive. That is, because right. that's you're you're working <laughs> on that right now. You're getting ready to tear down your your uh, woods in your backyard. That's why you're cleaning them all out, I'm, right? That's it. I'm gonna tear down all those woods and put more garage. So much. What, what would you build with your positive energy, Scott Sakura? I would build an ark to save all the children that are just hurting Floating. and starving everywhere. And I would give them cookies and cheeseburgers and I would just make it all. Why would you have to build a big boat to do that? Cause it's just easier to transport them. There's a big boat, uh, in Cincinnati. Your face is a big boat. Your face is a big boat. I w you know, I'm I, I like that answer. I, I also would build a giant boat. Why don't you why don't you make a giant uh uh RV and then we could just haul them around? I'm gonna build a giant RV and haul all the children of the world around and give them cookies and cheeseburgers. That's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway. And for those that don't eat meat, they get the protein burger like I just had. I had the uh, I made myself a, a cheeseburger taco, but it was made with a protein burger. But it was it was made with tofu. No, it was not. So basically, what, what we were talking about earlier, Scott's now on uh, this tofu kick, and next like couple weeks from now, he's going to be wearing like like no more clothes. He's just going to wear like a robe, and you're going to like see him. He's going to have like the circle sunglasses on. And he's going to be like, peace and love, everybody. And it's like, he's just going to smell like patchouli. Yeah, it's I'm a, drinking tea now. I know. he's He's got a long road ahead of him. We're we're going to see the evolution of Scott Sikora. Well, it's going to be drinking, amazing. Drinking tea is way better than drinking alcohol, right? Yeah. Oh, I 100% agree. But you know what's better than drinking tea? Red Plus Bull and Saye Berry slushies. I mean, smoothies. <laughs> I like what Stacy says. It says she says, "You guys sound like guys in a creeper van. Maybe you don't need to transport all the children lured in with cheeseburgers." <laughs> <laughs> we're we're doing it out of love. <laughs> Corey, dirty hippie dirt. Here, I'll give you some dirty hippie dirt this weekend. Uh oh, I don't know what that means, but we need to sh do the share thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, so who was the? the luxurious person that shared the show the most last week. So this is, this is a, this is a touchy subject here, but we're going to dive into it. So everybody knows who probably shared the show the most, but like we talked about the last couple of weeks, uh, we got to let other people win stuff. So, uh, I think Robert Mavex shared it like, like 7,000 times or something like that. And, but, uh, Needless to say, the winner of the share contest this week is Brian Bobolitz. And look at Robert. He's sad back there. But he didn't win this week. Oh, no. I've already sent Brian a message, and I will be getting his address. And everybody needs to share this episode. Share it. And Boy. you, too, could take your picture with Cher. Wait a minute. And, uh, yeah. Did you say you, too, is and Cher are getting together to write a hit song? Maybe, maybe next week it'll be you two and share and you, you, I expect Mark Burns is probably going to share this about 42 million times. I was expecting to Corey that was going to win this last week. Um, he tried and he ended up sharing it. I think like 32, 34 times. And he basically went to Facebook jail for sharing too much. So I'm not entirely sure what Robert's little trick is, but He's got it figured out because he, the dude shares us all over the world. Like the Antarctica Beard Club, I the think. Dude everywhere. The yeah, the Dubai Beard Club. <laughs> and uh, you know, the the Kangaroo Beard Club and all of them. Like he 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 don't even worry about beard clubs in the United States. He's like intercontinental uh Robert Mavek and uh International House of Robert Mavek. Exactly. Yeah, so that's what he does. So if you would like to win some amazing uh, Honest Amish products, 
of your choosing, essentially, because I've I've got a good bit right now. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you just just share this episode. It's that easy. Just share the heck out of this episode, and you will get a picture taken with share, and some honest Amish will show up at your house pretty quick. I'm doing pretty good. I went to the post office like three weeks in a row. So wow. So Aaron. After you went to the post office, we were getting ready for this uh, episode tonight. So tell us a little bit about who's going to be on with us tonight. I mean, oh, you've already well, announced who's going to be on, but what's going on? Why is he here? Uh, what is going on? Uh, yeah, so he they're putting on their uh, their first annual. It was it should have been second, but COVID messed that up. So yeah, they're they're going to be doing the Sasquatch Uncut 2021. Chris Odom, he wants to chair it. <laughs> Yeah, you could share it. He could backpack it. He can backpack it. You know, I should have had a dang it. I meant to have the picture up for him, but I forgot to load it. So I got I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I just realized I didn't do that. Um, but yeah, we we've got Mark Burns on the show. You just want to bring him on? And he yeah. Can talk so as you it. as you can see here, it, as 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 uh on the bottom of the screen there, Sasquatch Uncut. There it is. That's the website you're going to go to. That's Mark right there. And uh, make sure you go to sasquatchuncut.com and you can get a ton of information about what's going on this weekend. But we have the man himself here right now with us. The world famous Mark Burns. Mark the Lampshade Burns. No yeah. relation to George. No, not at all. Or is there? lost cousin. Whoa. Oh, see, we knew it. We found him. What is going on, sir? You are looking mighty fine tonight. Oh, thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. I'm. We're super, super glad to have you. My love, yes. my love to you too, and Natalie also. Yeah, she's here. She says, "Hey." <laughs> so oh. let's let's just get this ball rolling. Where did lampshade come from? I didn't even know about that Ooh. until today. Uh, that was a, a group deal. They uh, made a nickname for me. They thought my eyes kind of lit up the stage, so I'm a bit of a photographer myself so lighting's important and they gave me the nickname a lampshade so there you that go actually cool. reminds me and if i really would have thought about that i have a picture of you and me in a lampshade ah. from the last circus of whiskers really yes <laughs> where they had this like they didn't have like a photographer there per se and they had all these like little areas set up and they had this like one spot that was like a like a like a bar top table and it had a lamp on it. And Mark and I took a bunch of pictures of each other. <laughs> El Taco <laughs> says you are lying. He said, that is not where the name came from. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, um, part of it comes with the uh, tacos tattoos. I wrapped around the lampshade. So uh, mm -hmm. I, I figured if, if he was involved in it, there was probably a reason why part of that story got left out. They thought I was a serial killer and I was using skin. I mean, the shoe fits. <laughs> you never yeah. know. You never know. <laughs> I won't admit to it. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So Sasquatch Uncut is a beard competition that's going to be going on this weekend. Why don't you give us the uh, brief uh, lowdown about what it is and uh, how it got all put together? Oh, a couple of years ago, my buddies knew that I was one of the competitors in this great league that we have. And uh, uh, the city was asking for advice on how to uh, have another competition because they had one at their 100th anniversary. So up come their sesquicentennial, the 150th. And when I heard that word, I said, oh, you got to make it about Sasquatch. So I wanted a good theme and we'll have a full body hair category. Uh, my idea was to start with the longer beards and have them cut down throughout the comp. So if there's somebody daring enough to shave it all off or cut in stages, uh, we'll see maybe something like Taxi Phil did a few years ago where he cut everything off in front of everybody. So maybe we'll have one or two people try to do that. So is that what you're going to do? Oh, no, no, I won't compete. I'll, I'll be, um, basically refereeing, making sure that people qualify for their categories and uh, just help out the city so that they, uh, they're they not familiar with how to run a beard competition. So I told them I had seen many and 
Uh, we got a really world-class comp coming up, 17 categories. So including women, children, it's a family comp. So uh, uh, we were lucky to have it and have it outdoors. So uh, with the COVID scare last year, we wanted to make sure that everything was set up so that we would uh, have camping down the road at the Eastern Michigan State Fairgrounds. Um, and there's two hotels locally for the more civilized, but um, my idea was to turn this into a camping weekend along with uh, lots of hair. There's a pool right next to the comp, splash pad. I wanna see people throwing their shirts off, uh, bathing suits, Whoa. family appropriate, uh, get wet, get cooled off. It'll be summer solstice. Uh, That's late. not what you said earlier. You were hoping that all the whiskerinas were going to take their shirts off and go swimming. Well, of course. Well, you changed your mind. Uh, they have to be appropriately dressed. Of course, this is a city thing. So oh, okay. there'll be kids there, but um, the guys can take their shirts off, apparently. All right. Are we, are we a... Uh, a speedo friendly event. Oh, well, that's important. Yeah, yeah. Cause, I mean, I, I'd be a little careful. You know, there's children. There's a nice, nice town here that hey. we, uh, we don't want to shock mm -hmm. them the first year. You know, uh, I'd Brad, no mankini. Yeah, um, there, there. I'd say there's restrictions. I'd be yeah. a little careful. Maybe swimming trunks. <clears throat> Here's a very important question. What's the difference between a beard and mustache encounter versus a beard and mustache competition? Wow. You told you weren't going to give me tough questions. This, you're throwing me on the spot. This is not our question. Hey, the, you know, I mean, it's, it's what the fans want to know. Well, I mean, if you're shaving the beard off, it's no longer encountered with the mustache. So, oh, okay. um, you know, we're going to see who's going to do that. Who's going to keep it. Who's going to, try different styles. So you're so, saying Andrew Matson just needs to show up and shave his beard off. Oh, well, we went with There you go, Mark. There you go, Andrew. There's your there's your answer. Your answer. Good gosh. Um so uh we have two great charities. Yeah, let's let's hear about these charities. Uh our, our we have uh we're going to have the 6 feet over through Kate Hardy. And she's a suicide prevention hotline. So we need that after this long break here. So, um, and then we have the Rosie Riveters WOW chapter. They're out of Imlay City and they, um, they honor the uh, uh, older World War II veteran Rosies that uh, took over the uh, factories while the men were gone to war. And they uh, served a great purpose back then. My dad was a World War II veteran. So he told me about how the women really stepped up behind their men during the war. So we're going to honor them. We'll have the color guard uh, bringing in the flag to start at 3, 8, 3 p.m. So don't be late. The um, pre-ceremonies will start at 3. We'll have a magician before that and some other activities. But when the flag comes in, we expect it to be really patriotic moment with the Rosies following in the flag and it, 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 there won't be a dry eye in the house there. Dude, that's so super cool. Exactly. Dude. Four days, three hours, 10 minutes and 35 seconds till this event begins. Well, that, yeah. that might be the ending. I think that might be when awards are going to be uh, presented. It'll be a little bit earlier. Dude, don't go off of this timer. You want to be a little, little ahead of this timer. So if, <laughs> so if you're you setting your, your schedule of traveling to this, you'll probably be a little bit late. Yeah, you'll be showing up at award time. You got to make sure you're um, uh, registered by three o'clock in the afternoon Saturday. So uh, we'll have a registration area set up at the third and main right in MLA City. And uh, you can come in. They'll have brunch there at 10. And we expect things to start right about 10 o'clock in the morning and go throughout the day. So we have 17 categories that could take um, throughout the day. I don't know how late this is going to last. Uh, we don't know how many people are going to show up. This is kind of like when I was 17 and I invited everybody over to my mom and dad's house when they went on vacation. <laughs> it, it turned out to be a traffic jam on my block. So, whoops. Um, yeah. So we hope to see a big crowd there. But, We're hoping for a traffic jam. Yeah. Uh, are you still grounded? Man. What's that? Are you still grounded from that incident? <laughs> uh, yeah, I got in a lot of trouble, but <laughs> luckily, so, uh, 
they didn't tear apart my parents' house, and my sister was there to save my ass. So <laughs> that was so, nice of her. So there is online registrations as well. Yes, definitely. Go to www.sasquatchuncut.com. There's category information there that spells out all the 17 categories, even for a rookie. We have five o'clock shadow all the way to full body hair and long beards. And uh, you can register online or at the event Friday from four till seven at the third and main or Saturday from 10 till three at the third and main right next to the comp and then opening ceremonies will start at three and we'll start the comp at four. Nice. So Thank if you. everybody wants to look at the bottom of the screen, the website is scrolling across the bottom right now. So you can just type in that website and you can get registered for this event. And then also, as we're showing on the screen right now, there's a bunch of really cool stuff that you can pick up stickers, patches. Um, yeah. Mark's got stuff right there. All kinds of stuff. So all this, I assume, will be available at the event as well. Oh, yes. We'll have the stickers, patches, and uh, buttons on sale. And uh, you can sign up for your categories until three. They'll take right. cash or credit. So um, Bitcoin? Bitcoin, yeah. Bring three of them. Or, <laughs> three Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. How, uh, how early can people dollars. show up to this event? What's that? I'm sorry. How, how early do you think people can show up to this event? Uh, we ask our vendors and our sponsors to show up by 10, be set up. But cool. of course, the third main will be right next door to our event. And you'll be able to uh, get some food there, get some breakfast. They'll be serving till two or three. Um, so and then from there on, there'll be uh, drinks served through that facility. So we'll have the uh, beautiful trophies on display. Oh, yeah. And those will be at the third main in the window Friday night. And we'll try to light them up so everybody can see them through the night. And they'll then be taken over to the comp area Saturday. So, so one, one thing that you, you talked about and I've, I've caught wind of kind of reading the website and stuff. This is, this is uh, put on by you essentially in the city. I, I think that's super cool. How did, how did you get mixed up with uh, putting this event on with the city? That's a wonderful question, Aaron. Well, um, um, the, several of my friends and uh, had been, they're all photographers for the newspapers up there. And this city had put on festivals from all through the year and they had to shut down all their festivals last year. So they wanted to do this because they had a beard camp at their 100th year and the 150th. They needed some advice on how to do a current comp. They told me they wanted a world class comp and I. I thought I could deliver it and I think we got it. So um, uh, I'm looking forward to this being an annual event, but the city was right behind us, the D D DDA or the downtown development authority and the uh, Emily city rotary club has picked up our beast of show beast of show trophy, which is this guy right here. And, uh, all of our ties during the comp will be decided by rock, paper, scissors. We're doing Perfect. a hand thing, everything no touchy. Um, but uh, that's part of the scissor idea, uncut. So rock, paper, scissors, any ties. It'll so be is it best out of three or is it just yep. one yep. and done? We're going to turn their backs to each other and do mm -hmm. a best out of three right in front of the crowd. So um, beast of show will be decided by highest score in any single category. And we are encouraging to do um, uh, most categories. Awesome. When uh, when they do extra categories, do they need to pay an additional entry fee? There is another five dollar uh, entry fee on in their categories to participate in most categories. Cool. So if you want to, you think you're in right now two three categories, you're in the running. So um, and uh, there's our first fifty signups online uh we're reaching that number real closely if we get that done in the next couple of days uh that that online sign up is going to close down possibly thursday night but if you sign up we're going to have a drawing for a mad viking beard oil kit um to the first 50 who sign up nice this is great and it's a we've got some nice donations from uh uh, Bigfoot up in, in the United Kingdom sent me a donation and Mad Viking was really great about sending some 
donations. We had Bad Annie out of Old Lansing sent me some really cool stuff. So we got a nice little raffle table going. I'm I'm super jealous that I, I don't get to go up there to this event. I mean, it it sounds like it's really going to be done up right. So if anybody is in the Michigan area, they need to probably just you know pack your bags and go to this event. Well, and if if they're in the Cleveland area as well, I mean, uh, you know, there's a lot of people in the Cleveland area that watch this, and you know, a lot of the <coughs> beards of the old Northwest guys, um, definitely make this trip. It's only like two hours, if that. That's it. To, to, yeah, to Detroit. Yeah. Dang. It's a quick drive. It's two and hours to go to Detroit, two hours to go to Pittsburgh, two hours to go to Columbus. And You've got it made up there, Scott Sikora. Two hours to go to Buffalo. We're 100% open here in Michigan at, as of tomorrow. Cool. That's Well, that's really convenient. Worked out. You must have had some sort of deal worked out with the governor or something. Yeah. I, it, was you, iffy. You, it was iffy the whole time. We did so, so you said it was out outside. Have you looked at the weather for the weekend? What's it, what's it looking like for Saturday? Well, Sasquatch doesn't avoid the rain. So if it rains, we're all going to be out there in our wet wetness and we're going to celebrate natural, our natural instincts. So <laughs> <laughs> just do what you got to do. Right. We'll, hopefully we'll have shelter and we'll have a really cool, comp and i expect uh if you want to get wet just jump in the pool or stand in the raindrops if it rains so all right to kind of change pace here real quick um for people who've watched the show for quite a bit i have this really awesome picture right here over my left shoulder which would be on my right side of the screen and i want to show this to you because this is one of my favorite possessions ah i'm being possessed yes Woo! So I think it was at Circus of Whiskers, yes. if I remember correctly, a couple of years Cir ago. Circus of Whiskers, first Saturday in November. Yeah, and there were these pictures. There were two of them, I believe, right? Yes, sir. And I won this one, and this is like one of my favorite pictures ever. I can't. I, I got to get a frame on this, but uh. So, anyways, it, tell us a little bit about your your photography that you do and stuff like that, and about this oh well thank you so much for bringing that up when i saw it behind you the one day i was floored so um basically i've been in the photography business for 40 plus years now i'm retired and i can do my own thing but that was shot by kelly dobson photography in uh, plymouth michigan um and she won awards with my pictures she photographed me several times when she saw me grow my beard out and that's kind of how I got into the competitions. All the photographers wanted to do portraits of me, and i that's who I knew. I, they were my friends and my associates. So, um, But she shot that image, and uh, she helps me shoot the Detroit Thanksgiving Parade and the clowns. So I'm used to shooting clowns. That's why I like to shoot you guys and bring my camera to events. <laughs> wow. Uh, you're all colorful. That's why I have my parade outfit. But uh, the, she's one of my photographers at the parade, and we've done that for 22 years for Detroit. So I've uh, had a really great run of being in the photo business, and I love it. So when I saw the beards, I thought, I got to get in there and shoot these guys. They're so uh, handsome and worth shooting. And you guys all tell your own story. You all have your unique uh, looks and things, and it makes me a more accepting person being around you people. Did you, did you already have a beard when like just a normal beard when you decided to, you know, get involved or did you already have a big beard? Uh, I had a short beard for almost throughout my, until I was 55 or so. And then mm -hmm. I retired because my boss didn't like me growing out the beard. And I said, I'm going to keep growing it and I'm going to retire. And I, uh, there you go left work and continue to grow the beard. I, I believe in being natural. I don't have any tattoos, no piercings. I don't wear, I don't have implants. Uh, you know, uh, I doesn't wear underwear. I don't. Yeah. I'm just basically let myself be me. I want to see what I look like. And I think I'm pretty fantastic. So. I also think you're pretty fantastic. I, I also think you're pretty fantastic. Uh, I said it better, Aaron. So just you did whatever. I, did. I, I said it way better. You did. Well, uh, I'm, I'm not a disagreeing. You guys are wonderful. And I know you've been struggling and things have been life takes over and 
you know, you're real people and we all appreciate you. Everybody uh, has their hearts, hearts out to you. And, you know, uh, we want to see you continue to be successful. And we thank you for everything you guys do. You're real guys. I mean, thank, thank you very much, Mark. Thanks for being behind Natalie and being so strong for her. Yeah. Uh, Andrew wants to know who your favorite beard to photograph, f- photograph. My bad. <laughs> oh, you're putting me on the spot. Um, well, no, I, I really didn't because that's actually been on the screen for about a minute and a half. So I, it was really, I was like giving, I was like launching you a softball right there, figuring that you would have saw that. And then you would have been able to be thinking about it a little bit. And then I was making fun of Aaron real quick so I can like buy you more time like I'm doing right now so you can keep thinking about it. And <laughs> I'm terrible with names. Um, the guy with the beard. <laughs> the guy with the one beard, you know, it's like. It's like, whoa. And whoa. I have a favorite. And uh, he shot with a ring light a couple of years ago. I thought it was at. Um, Todd Dupler. Todd Dupler, yes. Yes. That's- he would be definitely my favorite uh, beard photographer. He came right to mind. But thank you for giving me that name. Yes. I, I have a hard time remembering names at my age. You know, I'm the oldest guy in our group, and I've held that since I started with uh, Murder City. So um, Scott is the oldest guy in our group. Yeah? Yeah. I'm only I mean, 28. It's just me and Scott. But, yeah, he's definitely the oldest, oldest one in this group. Well, he's pretty young. Scott? Yeah. 75. No way. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I, know. I know. I was I was as shocked as you when I found out. I was like, you're at least 60. He's like, oh no, I'm 75. Oh, I'm 12. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty good. I'm I'm 29. So we've, we've got a big spread here on talking beards. Well, I love you guys. So uh if you want you want to keep going into this competition? Do you have any judges? Yes, our judges are fantastic. I got, uh, I reached out to the best, and they accepted the challenge. I got Jim Jones coming. Everybody loves Jim, right? I've never even heard of Jim Jones. I've never heard of him. Hmm. Um, there's Melissa Crafton. Now, I've heard of her. She's awesome. Oh, yeah. We had to have the ladies represented here. And there's Ed Hackey. He's a recent uh, um, beast of show or best of show okay. down, down in the uh, um, uh, Knoxville okay. and, and we also have Adam Brock he's coming in from Alaska and That's he, amazing that you got Adam to come all the way from Alaska oh he's a wonderful yeah. guy and just he's, a, a, he's awesome guy. he's so awesome he's then, way better than his brother and not not to be last but Wayne Patmore everybody knows Wayne Patmore yes. the loudest person in the beer community I'm pretty sure Yep, he's pretty yeah. loud and impressive. He's a really great, great competitor. So I thank all our judges. We got our MC is El Chapo. He's he's an awesome MC. It's uh he's definitely gonna keep everything very entertaining. He's coming in from Texas. Least. He's yeah, coming he, from Texas now. He yeah. used to just live right there. Yep, he went away, he Whoops. fled to Texas, El Chapo took off, he fled and um, we're demanding he comes back to Michigan for this one. Well, yeah, he's always been the MC at the uh, Murder City events, the you know Circus of Whiskers. And speaking okay. of Circus of Whiskers, uh, when is that? Going look on? at that. Well, Circus of Whiskers mm. usually the first Saturday in November. I think that's somewhere in November uh, this year. Somewhere, you, it's probably right. the first Saturday in November. It's the first Saturday. It's under seven. I think it might be the sixth. Right? I'm not looking at a calendar, but. Um, uh, that is, a not a family comp, but it's known as probably one of the more, uh, um, wild. So comp. this one, the whiskeriness can take their shirts off. Uh, hey, we have burlesque a lot of times at our, uh, at our events. And, uh, I've seen a guy dressed as, uh, in high heels, stilettos. And, um, it was, he was showing his junk. It was pretty bad. I, I know uh, uh, Ankara was there a few years ago and she took a bunch of pictures and she didn't realize that there was some of those uh, junk pictures <laughs> on her on her camera roll and she was on the plane and I think she was about to just kind of do a quick edit and throw them all on there and then she she kind of glanced oh, through there and was <laughs> like, I'm going to go through all these pictures 
and look in the background before I post them. So, yeah, this is definitely not a kid-friendly uh, beard competition, but I've always heard just amazing, amazing things about it, and it's it's a, a must-go-to event. Oh, we love it. Thank you for mentioning it. Our group loves you. Oh, yes. We love your group. We love everyone. Murder City Facial Hair Crew Detroit! Um, love you. Love that, you. Yeah. <laughs> That's, we can't do that here. The car part. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Andrew wants to know when you're bringing back the car part trophy. So I got my... Uh, yeah, no kidding. When are you going to bring... Just br go ahead and bring back the car part trophies. Stop messing around. You like you're just it? mad you haven't gotten one. 100% one. I'm mad. I got my first place one. Look at that. This will be Sasquatch. That's that's Michigan Steel right there. Definitely. That's a super cool trophy. What category is that? Uh, this one's first place kids creative. Wow. wow. Man, that's freaking cool. Look, at, look who's here. Wayne's here. Wayne Patmore's here. Was that Love you, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> We saw Wayne and Gatlinburg. I saw you and Gatlinburg for like 15 minutes. It was awesome. Yep. I tried to make the rounds. I've traveled 5,000 miles in the last month. So No kidding. Yep. I, I bet I bet your arms are tired. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anymore, so I avoided a lot of trucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark. Well, we appreciate you coming on here and talking about uh, your event coming up this weekend, uh, Sasquatch Uncut. 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 Oh, that was a tough one to get out there. You got that, it out, though. You Sasquatchuncut.com. Make sure you go over and check out the website. You can find out everything you need to find out about the event. Uh, don't forget about the Murder Cities uh, event coming up in November. November 6th. November 6th, yes. Okay. And... Uh, any, any other last things you want to share? Uh, make sure you sign up online. Uh, qualify for the first 50 who sign up uh, for the beard oil from Mad Viking. And I want to thank all our sponsors. And thank you guys for putting us on. I really appreciate the support. We want to see this go off really big. And hopefully there's a huge crowd. So come out. There's a huge crowd too. Thank yeah. you. James wants to know if there's any way to watch it. I'm sure someone might live stream a little bit of the event or to be shooting videos and stuff. Just make sure you uh, go over to the, uh, well, what, what's your Facebook page for the event? Uh, it's the inaugural Sasquatch beard and mustache competition. Yeah, there's so a, there's a link to it in the notes. Yeah. Yep. Check our website. It's really well put up. Uh, you should find it easy, easy to find your categories and sign up early. So cool. it shouldn't be too hard to get on there. Thanks, guys. Absolutely, Mark. I hope you have a very successful event, and I hope you have a fantastic day. All right. See you All right. later. See you, okay, Mark. Love you. Thank you. Woo. He's awesome. <laughs> yeah. He's awesome. He is. He is. <clears throat> so yeah well, i checked off all the questions and everything that was a pretty successful interview if i do say so myself that one question you asked was epic you're dude. an idiot <laughs> what do you mean i'm an idiot you're like oh man you do was you, such a good question though it was like i'm like I, boy you've really grown up since we first started interviewing people i have that's 100 facts speaking of growing up we're gonna have episode 200 of the podcast we're going to do that, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to record a old-fashioned beard caster podcast, and the only way that you'll be able to listen to it is on podcast form. We're not even going to do a live video of it, probably. So, uh, yeah, you're going to have to download the podcast and listen to episode number 200 where Aaron and Scott interview each other. And mm -hmm. this, this thing could go on for like six hours. You never know. know. And like we say, if you go over to talkingbeards.com, you can subscribe to the podcast over there. And uh, unfortunately, I'd, I hate to say this, but after tonight's show, I'm going to be four episodes behind, which really <laughs> sucks. You'll, you'll get back on track. Yeah, I'm one of them's already done. It's, it's getting uploaded right now, but I feel bad because, you know, 
one of my responsibilities is doing the podcast side of everything and getting all that all set up and ready to go. And cause uh, I have no remotely any idea how to do that. Yeah. It's Not fun. Do we get to be on it? Who's we, you and that no. frog in your pocket? The episode 200 is going to be me and Scott Sakura. If you do have any questions you want to know, make sure you, uh, yeah. Message. Send them, send that, them. That'd be a good thing. So I'll make a post later on tonight and uh, we'll, we'll just put it out there for, you know, if there's anything that everybody wants to know about Aaron and Scott, we, we can ask each other some questions. So yeah, there, there's not going to be an audience. This is not going to be a live episode. This is going to be a podcast episode number 200 and uh, we will release it one day. <laughs> It'll be right after 199 gets released. Yeah, I'll I should hopefully by this weekend have everything up and caught up. Good deal. But yeah, fun like you're saying. It is good. It is this is a great idea. Yeah. So like we're gonna it. make a post and uh once again, that's a good one to share. Mm-hmm. Go. Once a good one to share amongst everyone. And uh, you know, if you have any like questions, be it serious or silly or whatever let's get them all on there and we'll mm-hmm. do uh may- maybe this could just turn into something that we do uh, like once every couple of months. We'll be like, what's on your mind? Ask us some questions and we'll just compile a bunch of questions and then we'll just cut a podcast episode. Boom. I like know, that. And- Look at this fun hall. That's probably the best idea you've ever had ever. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Fun. Will 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 the cocky Aaron be there? Uh, probably no. not. He, uh, I think he fell in the river in Austin. And the bats ate him. Yeah, and the bats ate him and then turned him into bat poop. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we have some comp news coming up. Do we ever? We do. Competition news with Aaron and Scott. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Competition news. Look at that. That was our new intro. That was... uh. Natalie wrote that earlier today. It's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, it we've is. got some competitions coming up. Not like you can do your floors. Shut womp, up, Corey. Womp. Anyway, speaking of Corey. Uh, yes, what about her? Uh, <laughs> what, what about her? She's putting on uh, or helping put on this uh, first annual Falling Guardians Beard and Mustache Competition. That is Coming up this weekend, it's going to be a Beard Mob West Virginia competition, and they're going to have probably the best MC ever to MC an event ever in the history of all events. Who could it be now? It's going to be Scott Sakura, the me. Beardcaster. That's so, me. Yeah, this is going to be in uh, Parkersburg, West Virginia this weekend. It's going to be at the North End Tavern and Brewery. So, yeah, everybody, if, if you're on the fence about going to West Virginia and you'd rather go to West Virginia than uh, Michigan, then this is the place for you. And Scott Sakura will uh, about 95 98% have – have some uh, honest Amish you can give away, but no, no uh, sweatshirts. He's no not going to have any sweatshirts. So for, uh, but, they, for some odd reason, they feel like the people don't want sweatshirts, and we're trying to really push for sweatshirts with honest Amish. We've been <laughs> this this has been a, a running joke with me and the the lady that that I uh, always contact to get the product sent out to events. I'm all I always ask her about sweatshirts, and I'm like, so do you have any hoodies? And she's like, nope. And this has been going on for about a year now. And I, every time I message her about anything, I always ask about hoodies. Like, even if it's not anything at all. Hey, it, does Honest Amish have coconut oil in their oil or whatever? And she's like, no. I'm like, cool. Do you have any hoodies? <laughs> and yeah, so it's, I think it's funny. She's probably super annoyed about it by now. But anyway, so, uh, what else do we have? There we go. That's what I was about to click on. So we have coming up this weekend also. It's a star-studded uh, beer competition uh, weekend to the stars. This is the seventh annual Midwest Facial Hair Showdown. This is going to be at the Champs Bar and Grill in uh, Wichita, Kansas. It's going to start at 2 p.m. Did I see that's going to be an FHL event? <clears throat> uh, I do believe so. I do believe, yeah. Facial hair competition helped the bearded. Uh, brothers and passageways theme will be retro. There you so go. So 
So yeah. it's going to be the uh, Bearded Monkey Social Club. That's our friend Omar. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they're they're going to put on an amazing event this weekend. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be in Kansas. So, you know, Michelle Emerson and company will probably be there. And she'll probably be in a bathtub because that's what she does. So, uh, yeah. And last but certainly not least for this upcoming weekend competitions, it's the Sasquatch Uncut 2021. It's going to be in Emlay City, Michigan. Uh, it'll be brought to you by Emlay City and Mark Burns and uh, Murder City Facial Hair Crew. Uh, yeah, so this was our entire interview was all about this event. So he said, uh, get there, get registered by 3 o'clock, and it's outside. And uh, allegedly, you may want to pack an umbrella and allegedly. maybe a, a raincoat. Well, I looked at the weather and it was like 50% chance of rain. So, uh, yeah, pack accordingly, but there, there should be some sort of awnings and stuff like that. They're, they're not just going to leave everybody out, out in the wet, but Hey, that's what happens when you have an outdoor competition. Sometimes you got to adapt and overcome, but it should still be an amazing event. Uh, they've, they've been putting this together for about two years now. So, uh, yeah, if you are in the Detroit area, venture outside the city and, and go to MLA city. So speaking of Sasquatch, because this seems to be like the big theme going on between all the shows the past Apparently. Few nights, um, uh, there is this really cool event going on the 24th of July. Bingo, bingo. Yeah, so this Smoky is going to be the Mountain Beard or the Smoky Mountain Bigfoot Conference in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Now, why don't you give us a little quick brief uh, lowdown on that one? Yeah, so this is going to be uh, another event that's going to be brought to you by Gather Up Events. It's the same people that brought you the Smoky Mountain Beard and Mustache Fest. Uh, yeah, so we had such an amazing time down there, and uh, I set up and vended for the first time, and everybody was extremely nice, and Marty was cool, and Nikki was cool, and everybody that we interacted with with Gather Up Events that uh, – they were looking for sponsors and, you know, I asked Honest Amish if they wanted to be involved in it. And they said, let's, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to, me and Natalie are going to be going down there. It's not going to be a beer competition, but we're going to try something new and different. And we're going to set up an Honest Amish booth and we're going to probably sell a bunch of soap. I would assume that's going to be the, uh, the big seller, but you know, Sasquatch people are probably. Somebody's giving us the silent stupid. treatment tonight. He, he is. He's, he's mad. Um, but yeah, so July 24th, if you are in Gatlinburg or, you know, the East Tennessee type area, you want to come check out a Sasquatch event, come check it out because we don't know what we're getting ourselves into. Um, so stop by and hang out. And I mean, you can probably just hang out at our booth if you want to, cause we don't know, you know, we may just not even sell one bar of soap. Who knows? But we're going to go to it. Sasquatch and, people smell bad. I, I'm I know, and then we're gonna wash them. So I think I don't know. I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be pretty fun, and uh, we've never done anything like that before. So we're we're gonna go check it out, and uh, we love Gatlinburg, so it gives us an excuse to go back there. No hoodies. Mm. They won't no, make no hoodies. hoodies. This is the big joke. They See, won't make everybody wants hoodies. Everybody. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. Natalie D. Johnston and myself will be in Gatlinburg on July twenty fourth. What other news do we have here? Uh, we got comp news. That's it for uh, comp news. Let's see. Well, I mean, we got this. So, uh, if you want to go over to the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board, there is a link to this. Uh, we don't really do the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board anymore, but you can still post on there, and it is still full of news and information. Uh, yeah, you can go over there. There's uh, I don't know how many spots. This is an updated picture, but you can get yourself a lamp. So you can get. In the uh, raffle over there, you can PayPal Yukon Junior twelve oh eight at PayPal and get yourself a chance to win a, a custom made lamp, kind of like the one he made for us uh, a few weeks ago. So yeah, do that. Go go find it. It's it's for a great cause. He's gonna go help out little Froggy and and every all that all that that happened with her. So you know, sucks for that whole family and just any little bit's gonna help. So that's what that's what we're trying to do. Just help them out. So go over there to the BS Buttons Beer Bulletin Board. Find the link that Scott Turner has posted and uh, fill up the last little bit of that raffle. I think he told me earlier there's like 15 spots left. So $15 and just buy them all up. 
Now is the time on Talking Beards when we get the Talking Beards, the Natalie update. All right. What is the latest update on Natalie? What is the latest update on Natalie? Um, So we went to Gatlinburg a couple weeks ago, and she super duper overdid it. And I think... <clears throat> that's kind of what I was talking about earlier with Mark. I don't, I don't know if, if we're still feeling some of that residual from her overdoing it or, or if it's deeper and more worse. Um, but she got her blood results back Thursday. Um, no, she had blood done Thursday and got her results back Friday. And there was, there really wasn't anything positive in there. Um, the, the, what they were really hoping was all of her blood results say, you know, is like right here with both kidneys and this is good and this is bad or whatever. And we're hoping that it at least stay there and the right kidney would kind of pick up the slack and at least keep it where it was. Um, worst case scenario, all of her, you know, all of her blood results would have been cut in half because she has half the amount of kidneys. And uh, I think maybe the, basically I think a lot of, a lot of the blood results are, are kind of showing that, that, Maybe that right kidney is just not not picking up the slack. Um, that was basically probably worst case scenario. Um, she's got a doctor's appointment on Thursday, and uh, may, maybe they'll tell us some good news on some level. But as as far as the blood work goes, there's wasn't really any positive positive anything in there. Uh, she's super duper tired. Um, she has been basically since we got back from Gatlinburg. She was tired at Gatlinburg. She just powered through it and she wanted to go be a normal person for a couple of days and just we went and played putt putt and did all the things we could possibly do. And yeah, we she's, she's pretty, yeah, we ate pancakes. That was pretty fun, but we've, uh, she's pretty much been on the couch ever since we got back and she, she gets winded walking to the, to the bathroom or down the stairs to go to the kitchen or anything. She's, she's not doing too hot but we're hoping that maybe you know that they'll tell us some good news and they're saying you know it's just still healing and you know her, her kidneys hopefully you know the right kidney is going to start picking up the slack maybe that takes some while or it takes a while i don't know not a doctor so <clears throat> i don't know last time we went a couple weeks ago a month or so ago they they didn't seem too worried that her right side was starting to hurt um, which that's the only side with a kidney now. And, uh, I don't know. It, her right side's still hurting. And, and then last night, our freaking cat, 22 pounds of him jumped on her stomach out of, out of nowhere. So that, that absolutely did not help matters. So he, uh, he usually jumps at the foot of the bed when he hops up on the bed. But last night he was like, I'm, I'm going to jump right where you are. And he landed on her and that was not at all a good time. So that did not help. So I don't know, man. Uh, hopefully we get some good news, but so far we really haven't gotten any and, and Natalie's over it. <laughs> she is over feeling this way. She, she's over not feeling good and, and everything you can possibly imagine being on the couch for like a year. Like she's, she's done with it. She, she wants to go back to, doing stuff and hopefully she can get back to doing stuff. But yeah, that's about where we're at right now. I don't, I don't know. We've, we've had good updates and we've had bad updates and this has definitely not been a good one. Well, we wish you the best, Natalie. Everyone's sending their thoughts and prayers. Absolutely. And yeah, so yeah. good luck. <sighs> yeah. Good luck. Good luck, Natalie. She said, thanks. Thanks. Or she just shook her head. She shook her head. She's like, <clears throat> all right. So yeah, that was the Natalie D. Johnston update. So uh, we got one more thing to cover here, and it's talking beards of the mail. Yeah, yes. Brought to you by mustaches, beards, and a uh, mustache with a soul patch. What's going on, Scott Score? You, I know you got some beard mail. I did. I got some really great beard mail compliments of this something called talking beards talking beard since you mail you know I, you made it when talking beard sends you stuff i know they sent me like all these really cool new stickers 
like the new new stickers, the Ooh. big new ones. No one, no one gets those big ones. I those know. only I, go on the box. I got them. And wow. then this was the other one that was really cool. I was really excited to get this. This is the uh, Talking Beards, the patch, or Talking Beards, the patches. Oh, you see what that. I did? It was like magic. Talking wow. Beards, the patch. Thank you, Brandon Borderline, for making that happen. Thank you, Brandon Borderline, for making that happen. And on top of that, more, more stuff came but in. But wait, which, there's more. Oh, wait, there's more. Yeah, I also got <gasps> some Honest Amish. Ooh, this smells really good. I got two. What? Look at that. Another magic trick. Good gosh. What did you do to get all this cool stuff from Talking Beards? I literally never get any mail from Talking Beards. Yeah, you did. You got some really cool dinosaur poop. I did. <laughs> oh, these smells Talking so Beards, the poop. Yeah. <sighs> Talking Beards, the poop. What was that? I know. See, I, Angela is in here right now. Angela, what is the name of the fossilized dinosaur poop? I can't remember it. Talking Beards, the poop. We already did. Talking Beards, that. the poop. But yeah, so I'd got some really great soap. I got a really great uh, Talking Beards shirt again. And uh, it made a really great uh, Father's Day gift for my dad. So my well, dad was I'm, so excited. I'm glad your dad liked it. So uh, a couple days ago, I, I sent Scott this package. I was like, hey, man, I'm, I'm sending you uh, one of the shirts. And he was like, oh, did Honest Amish come up with a new design? I'm like, no, I'm one of the shirts. I'm sending it to you. He's like, what shirt are you sending me? I'm like, the shirt, you know, the talking beard shirt that we had made. I'm sending it to you. Oh, you're sending me another one. This conversation via text lasted a while because yeah, it was cause like you're totally it was like each other back and forth. Like, what shirt? You know, a shirt, uh, a shirt like you wear, and it was just back and forth. Like it was, it, it was ridiculous. And then it was like, what do you? And he was like, send me a picture of him wearing the talking beard shirt. I had already sent him one and I forgot. <laughs> I had no idea I had already sent him a shirt. So I thought I was like doing good. I'm like, all right, I'm going to send him a shirt, some subs, and I'm going to throw this in the box and this in the box and all kinds of stuff. But yeah, so it was a, it was a, <laughs> it was a cluster, but we finally figured it out. And that's why, because I had uh, already sent him a shirt. Wayne Patmore, you yeah, can go gonna, over I to pulling it up. Yeah, so I figured Scott was pulling it up. We have a Teespring store, and you can order all kinds of stuff on there. Uh, so the shirts that I had in Gatlinburg are, are not Teespring shirts. They're just stuff that I had made. And maybe if Scott and I do another event, maybe like at Nationals or something, maybe I'll, I'll get some hoodies or something printed up, and I'll bring them up there. But, yeah, you do Teespring, there's all kinds of stuff on there. Look at that. Look at that talking. But that's the old school talking beard shirt. Look at the Look front. At that. the oh, yeah. It's got Chris on it. Chris was here earlier. Um, yeah. So here yeah. we go. Talking beards, the hooded sweatshirt. So that's what it looks like. There it is. It's a classic so, pullover it, hoodie. Oh, yeah. To answer your question. Too. And that's, that's not bad. No, it's not. Because most hooded sweatshirts are around 40 bucks or so. And uh oh, serious question. <laughs> do it do we have have any indication on predates predates what do you mean i don't know what is he talking about i don't i don't know i think i think andrew has dipped into the sauce tonight we have look there we also have this sweatshirt too this is a premium pullover hoodie this one's like a big thick one premium comes in multiple colors as well uh the woman's t-shirt uh, we have tons of team, the team talking beard shirt. I've seen a couple people wearing those. We've hardly sold anything off this page. Like very seldom do we ever get anything. And we, and, and we don't make anything off this page really. Like we marked everything up like a couple bucks yeah. just so people can buy things. Like this is, this is how much it just costs. Teespring makes a ton off of it. I'm sure. But we don't, <laughs> we just marked it up like two bucks and every once in a while they'll buy Hey, do you want do you want your eight dollars or do you want us to send you a free shirt? And we're like, whatever, send us a free shirt. And then we forget to give them a size and they send us like a 42 XL. Yeah. Or and like then, an extra, extra small. Yeah. They're like, oh, well, you didn't tell us the size. So we we definitely thought you you wanted a, a kid's eight ten. I'm like, 
Okay, that's exactly what we, what we wanted. Anyway, so one last piece of beard mail, and then we're going to go. So Natalie had this amazing painting. Uh, I don't even know the right word. Commissioned for me. Uh, Tyler Hill had one, and I was super jealous. So she went behind my back, and she reached out to Jamie R. Simon and had this piece of work made. Look at this. Look at all them donuts. It's got the Fruit Loop Donut right in the middle. Rest in peace, Fruit Loop Donut. Maybe you'll be back to us one day. But yeah, um, she had it created um, on a, a kind of an odd-shaped piece. So it took a minute for him to order the, the canvas and stuff. But it's going to go right above the door in the kitchen. So that's kind of why it's long and kind of skinny. And it fits right above the, the kitchen door there. And, you know, it's one of the only spots we have with blank wall in our house <laughs> is above the doors. So uh, we're going to start filling those spots. So I don't I don't know if you believe me, but we we really don't have any wall space in our house left so above the doors it is uh but yeah that was my beard mail i got this amazing donut painting that natalie d johnson so graciously had commissioned for me by robert or jamie r simon there we go not robert but yeah that's it i think that's all i got and we did it it's 901 i didn't even realize so yeah that that was our show Copyright. What? Coprolite. That is what it's called. Coprolite. Of course it is. Everybody knows it's a that. Fossilized dinosaur poop. Fossilized dinosaur poop. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in and watching. And uh, thank you, Mark Burns, for stopping by. You did an amazing job. And everybody should go check out uh, Sasquatch Uncut 2021. A... Uh, Dang it. What was it? Not a competition. An experience? I don't remember. Whatever it was. I know it wasn't a competition. It was something else. I forgot the word. Anyway, go to Mark Burns' thing. Go check it out. Uh, <laughs> it should be super fun. They've got it well planned, and it's ready to go. So there's lots of there's three competitions coming up this weekend. Go check out a beard competition near you. Next week, there aren't any competitions. And then the week after that, we're going to dive into Nashville. So thank you, everybody, for stopping by and uh, checking us out and supporting us and sharing the show. And Andrew for making our pictures. And and uh, was it Brian Babolitz for uh, winning share last week and, you know, finally knocking Robert Mavek off, off of his pedestal the 42 time champion of share. So I'm Aaron D Johnston. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Go ahead, Scott. And I am Scott Sakura. You can find out more information about us in the show by going to talkingbeards.com. Make sure you go over there so you can check out just as we were showing the Teespring uh, shirt store. So if you guys were interested in anything that you guys saw, as we were just showing, Go to talkingbeards.com and you can uh, subscribe to the podcast over there, whatever. We got episode 200 is going to be coming up. Uh, there should be a barrage of new podcasts. You say a bra? Not, well, yeah. Who doesn't uh -huh. like a bra? But, anyways, a barrage, which oh. is like a, it's like a barge, but it's full of bras. Oh, okay. So like and they sail it down the river. So it's a barrage. I thought you was like a, a garage for bras. No, <laughs> a barrage of podcasts are going to be coming out. So make sure you guys go subscribe to wherever you subscribe or follow, wherever you guys watch or listen to podcasts. Pardon me. Um, there'll probably be about four new episodes popping up within the next few days. So uh, it gives you plenty of stuff to check out. Episode 200 is going to be coming up. It's going to be a good one. And on top of that, if you guys aren't going to squat, squat, squatch uncut, this weekend up in Detroit, uh, come to the first annual Fallen Guardians Beard and Mustache Comp. Uh, I will be emceeing this event in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Live and in person, Scott Sakura will be signing autographs. Yeah, that too. And I'll have, hopefully, uh, I, I should be you getting will. a bunch of Honest Amish stuff in. So uh, if you're interested in uh, trying some Honest Amish stuff out, hit me up and we shall hook you up. Hook him up. So thank you, everybody, for stopping by. 
And I haven't seen the notification, but if uh, you want to go over to Beard Laws and go check out TikTok Tuesday, it's probably playing. But I didn't get a notification, so maybe he's off tonight. Anyway, so thank you, everybody. Mark Burns, appreciate it. Everybody go share this episode. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Look, I'm a crab. <laughs> <laughs>